financially responsible for all service repairs. If you wish to extend or reinstate your car's warranty, press 4 now. Oh my gosh. Michael, are you trying to extend your car's warranty? <laughs> what I used to love is when I would get scam emails and messages like that when I didn't own a vehicle. And I'm like, ah, yes, that car that doesn't Protecting exist. Protecting the, the, the value of my precious vehicle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so if you have a phone, you've probably gotten a voicemail or 10 or 20 or maybe a hundred from somebody who's trying to extend your car's warranty. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, this was a scam and there was no real extended warranty. It was actually a service contract, which sucks and doesn't actually do anything. But it looks like a $300 million fine, which is a record-breaking fine, has been levied against the people who were responsible for this. So if you're wondering who was calling you, it was apparently Michael. <laughs> oh, a different Michael. You sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That, that's different. A different Michael. But you know, like, are they all connected? That's what I get for having the third most popular name for like half a century. Okay. Well, um, through some sort of organized Michael action, <laughs> yeah. we can see that Michael, Aaron Jones, and Roy Cox Jr. were the ones at the center of these desperate pleas to extend your car's warranty. Now, these robocalls were absolutely crazy in volume. And of course they become kind of like a meme or a cultural icon at a certain point because everybody's experienced them. They're something we've all been through. They place approximately, what is this number? Five billion? Five billion calls <laughs> to 550 million wireless and residential phone numbers from January to March of 2021 using 1,500,000 51,461 unique caller ID numbers. So what does that mean? It means that they were calling from all of these unique numbers, which were then often flagged or blocked, but they were virtual numbers or they were spoofing their number. So that means that during the pandemic, they were calling from phone numbers that were assigned to hospitals, which people would call back angrily and also block the numbers of. So they were doing some things that made all of the annoyance so much worse because some of the, you might've noticed you would get phone numbers that were very close to your phone number, maybe one digit off or from the same area code, all focused around trying to get you to pick up. A lot of these were actually very disruptive because the numbers they were calling from that they spoofed were actually real numbers. And these people were getting uh, hate calls back and occasionally, if it was a real business or a hospital, that was actually causing service disruptions. So as soon as the government ordered Call Pipe, Fugle Telecom, Geist Telecom, Global Links, Moby Telecom, South Dakota Telecom, Skip Connect, and Virtual Telecom, probably the only telecom companies that were like not asking any questions, to cease providing services to this operation within 48 hours, 99% of these robocalls stopped. So it looks like there was a massive number of calls that were reduced through this action. You can see it went way, way, way down. And you probably haven't gotten any calls in the last month or two about your car's extended warranty because <laughs> they went after the infrastructure, they went after the people here, and now they're trying to go after the people who made money off of anyone who was, you know, dumb enough to extend their car's extended <laughs> warranty and now are trying to get back. Yeah, three hundred million dollars. So I've never seen an FCC find that large before because it is the largest that has been issued over robocalls, at least. Okay. And yeah, it's it's so oh, sorry the largest such action in FCC's history because the robocallers met the criteria for egregious violations and thus deserves a substantially escalated proposed fine, uh, which I would agree because in preparing for that little bit, I just typed in warranty and there were two hundred voicemails that I could have selected from to play. Well, so yeah, I mean, I think everybody's been hit by these and frankly, I'm glad they finally got what was coming to them. Mm -hmm.